Science is hard. To cure a major neurological illness is a monumental undertaking. But that is exactly what the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research set out to do when it was founded 23 years ago. This past March, the Fox Foundation announced a major breakthrough in this pursuit. A study funded by the Foundation has found a biomarker for the disease. Woo! The Fox people have found a biomarker. Yes, that's right, a biomarker. What is a biomarker? A biomarker is an objective indicator that tells your doctor of the risk or likely presence of a disease. For instance, high blood pressure and high cholesterol are biomarkers for heart disease. An elevated PSA level in the blood is a biomarker for prostate cancer. Until now, no such test existed to identify the biological presence of Parkinson's disease. This new tool will have a direct impact on diagnosis and better treatments. Previously, a PD diagnosis was made during a cursory clinical observation. A patient showed up in their doctor's office with a tremor or rigidity or gait and balance issues or trouble with handwriting, speech, or facial expression. And based solely on visible symptoms, they were told, you have Parkinson's disease. But Parkinson's had likely been lurking in these patients for many years before a diagnosis was made. With no biological test available to signal its presence, doctors have had no way to detect the disease until symptoms materialize at which point much of the dopamine in their brain was already lost. This is wasted precious time for patients who have a disease that is progressive and degenerative. Diagnosing Parkinson's as early as possible would be a real change maker for these people. That's why the staff and advisors for the Fox Foundation realized that finding a biomarker, and I'm pleased to announce that I now know what that means, would be an essential tool in developing therapies and eventually a cure for the disease. In 2010, the Fox folks set aside $40 million to launch the Parkinson's Progression Markers Initiative, or as I like to call it, PPMI. Their mission? Find a biomarker. Back in 2010, this was a huge risk since this one initiative consumed a majority of our total research budget. But this was exactly the kind of risk Michael planned on when we started the foundation. As the Michael J. Fox Foundation grew exponentially, so did their PPMI study. With promising results, the initial $40 million commitment to the program increased substantially. Between 2010 and 2023, the foundation invested over half a billion dollars on this initiative alone. And that investment paid off in March, when the Lancet Scientific Journal published the findings that a biomarker for PD had been discovered. The gist of it, Parkinson's disease can now be seen in the spinal fluid of people in its earliest stages. For those of us who slept through biology class, here's a deeper dive. Previous research, much of it funded by the foundation, had already established that the culprit in PD's onset and progression can be traced to a misfolded protein in the brain. But researchers could only see this poorly folded protein in an autopsy. The conundrum, how to find these proteins in living patients at the beginning of their battle, not the end. That's why this is such groundbreaking news. Doctors can now see the misfit proteins in spinal fluid. And then the doctors just take that spinal fluid and put it in the flux capacitor. I'm pretty sure that's completely wrong. Anyway. The ability to see the misshapen proteins in spinal fluid has proven to be an accurate way to diagnose the biological presence of Parkinson's disease in patients that currently show no visible symptoms, perhaps as much as a decade before it would have previously been diagnosed in a clinic. Amazing, right? But do I want to know I have Parkinson's years before I have to confront its symptoms? Yes, Leah, you do because people who are diagnosed before symptoms progress will be excellent candidates for clinical trials. One of the biggest hurdles in curing Parkinson's has been the challenge of finding enough newly diagnosed patients to participate in research. Being able to identify Parkinson's disease earlier will transform the pipeline. 
funneling thousands of people who test positive for Parkinson's biology into new clinical trials. And with more people available for trials, pharmaceutical companies will have the widespread ability to objectively test the effectiveness of new PD drugs. As a direct result of this discovery, pharma companies are already seeing Parkinson's in a new light, increasing their investments as they look to develop better drugs for this complex disease. This gives us great hope ahead. Previously, by the time a patient was diagnosed, their brain was already irreversibly damaged by Parkinson's, and the disease had been busy wreaking havoc on other systems in their body. Imagine if you can turn back the clock and start treating these patients much earlier. With this recent discovery, we can now look forward to earlier diagnoses and the development of new therapies, eventually allowing doctors to intervene long before the damage is done. Wow. I didn't realize this biomarker had the potential to achieve so much cool stuff. <laughs> and here's something else you may not realize. I'm not a real doc. But I'm aware that there might be people who aren't thrilled about getting a spinal tap to look for signs of Parkinson's. Yeah, um, you know, I've been meaning to ask about that spinal tap thing. Seems like it might be kind of uh, uncomfortable. Don't worry, Josh. Researchers funded by the Fox Foundation are already working to make this biomarker more accessible in a routine health screening. Yeah, like through a blood test or a nasal swab. Two of my favorite fluids. So let me get this straight. With this development, doctors will someday be able to test at-risk patients for Parkinson's disease in their annual physical, just like you're screened for other diseases? That's awesome. This is a huge leap forward in science. And in the near future, the biomarker could also allow doctors to follow progression, the pace and impact of the disease, while tracking the biology of Parkinson's for the first time. The goal is to galvanize this good news into new drugs that could interrupt the progression of Parkinson's, stopping it in its earliest stages before symptoms develop that disrupt patients' lives. On behalf of all patients and their families, thank you to everyone who made this exciting discovery possible. Thank you for making a donation to our foundation, big or small. Thank you to our visionary philanthropic partners who believed in what we set out to do. Thank you to all the participants who took part in the study that led to the biomarker. Thank you to the scientists and researchers who connected the dots. Our work is not finished, however. We need all of you to continue your commitment to see this advancement through to the next step. The road to a cure. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Now this time we need roads. And the one the Fox Foundation is on promises to take us to a place where no one gets Parkinson's disease. Now that's the future we can all look forward to. Here comes the sun, I say it's all right.